Hello and welcome. Next I'd like to show you that how we can fix that kind of fuel hose and fuel tank leak where this fuel is dropping in this our uh, fuel tank hose and now I am speaking this uh, fuel adding hose what is in that area where is this feel and where we normally drain in this fuel in this fuel station when we pump new gasoline and diesel to our our fuel tank and this area is in here this is fuel tank and now this hose is now this fuel this fuel adding hose what is not not this uh, pressurized pressurized hose there is only idea that when we add gasoline and diesel it goes down and then it drains to fuel tank and now in here we have leak okay okay and how to fix that first couple of warnings this is extremely dangerous part because this is gasoline and it is high highly extremely highly flammable and dangerous uh, thing and it if we have fire this fu this pipe and hose start to fire right away and that's we can't use any grinding or sanding or any cutting thing or no no any welding or gas welding because then we will burn and we will explode our car and and maybe our house and that's we need to use some other thing and I have now idea that I am planning to add in here new uh, plastic at uh, this pipe and I will join this my plastic pipe uh, to against this metallic fuel pipe using my Sika gasket glue item and then I have some clamps and I close that thing in with my clamps okay and then then let's go to look my clamps closer okay and next I am planning to do so that that when when I am planning to fix and close that leak in this foil pipe hose that I have in here specific remember this is specific hose and this is like uh, this oil tank hose what those uh, farms and those countryside farmers use when they pump oil in some tank to some another tank and we can purchase in that kind of ho hoses and pipes in any uh, those bare part store, store who sells those parts to those uh, tractors and what are those bulldozers like caterpillar and cat and komachu komachu those uh, big 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 uh, machine machines and this is like hydraulic uh, quite similar that can hydraulic hose but this this hose has been made for to transport this gasoline or oil and remember this is not normal uh, rubber hose this is specific hose and and now this hose must be uh, so kind or uh, some kind of hose and pipe that it can resist this gasoline and fuel and oil there must be these things that this has been tested against gasoline and fuel like in that that pipe what come from by the way in this uh, there is text tank oil and this this pressure resistant is 10 bar and it is quite big big pressure if we think that in our cars fields there is like two bar pressure okay and then of course we need two clamps that I can insert that that my my hose in uh, in in covering this fuel pipe and then when I like to install that that in this area we need to go to check that how this fits in this fuel tank area next okay and now I have I have managed to see that there is a couple of 
holes in here, in he, here, and there is always this this uh, wet gasoline in here, this pipe. And let's look closer that we can see those holes. Okay, and then when I look that fuel pipe hose, I can see that there is full that kind of big big hole in here. And I have to uh, tap and close that hole and here is also second hole but we can see that there is now two holes and I need to close these these holes because this gasoline is going out in through those holes. Okay and then then we continue. Okay, and here is this my fuel tank hose where I am planning to insert this my, my new covering pipe and I am planning to insert that in that area in that area now it seems that I need to cut a little bit this my hose something like that it is in that amount and then I can insert that in here okay and next I need to cut that my pipe and also because I'll need to cover this my pipe I need to cut this my pipe also in that area that I can insert in here and next I let's go to do that next okay and then I need to cut this my pipe in that area and I insert that in my workbench in this position here and then I cut that using my metal saw in that way that I insert that in here and then a little bit cutting okay good now I have this suitable part in here and then I think that I need to cut this my this my cover in here that I can insert I do new cut in here and for that job I insert my pipe in here in that way and then again I use my this metal saw and I cut in that position now in this Good. And now I think that maybe this some other way in here could be better. But if I cut in that position, this my thing. Okay. Now it works well. fine and now we can look it closer what this looks like it is in here and now this my my cover is almost ready and in that area I am planning to add glue and for that job we need again excellent and specific Sika Sika brand where is this logo this come this is excellent brand and this is special glue sikasil gasket for this suitable for engines and and best in that thing is that that this is like gasoline resistant it resists gasoline and we need now glue what resists gasoline and i know that this sikasil gasket is excellent for that job or something similar glue what is gasoline and oil resistant. Okay, and that I will use later when I in install that in there. And then we go to check that how this my thing works. And there are my clamps and let's go to fuel tank next. 
Okay, and there is this my house area. And here is this my my grouper. I, I am planning to install that in in this way in here, indirectly, like in, in that way. This is my target. Okay, and it it actually fits there quite well. And then I am planning to insert these fasteners in that area and then it's tight. Okay, and next, next I a little bit cut that in here, that it fits in here nicely. And I will do that next. Because now this part, it takes now contact in here and I need to cut that area a little, little bit. Okay. Okay, and then I little bit I take that corner part away in here. Now it's almost away. Okay, good. And now this my my cover is quite nice. And then then I need to take my metal brush that we go to clean this fuel tank hose next. Okay, and here is this my my fuel tank cover and it, it goes in here very nicely in that way it goes in there good in that way and then 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 I then I insert that here in that way good and then next part is to take this old Rust and corrosion and clean carefully this all dirty away in that area because next I am planning to add in here this my Sika seal gasket in that area and, and in that area we can't use any fire, heat or any grinding because this is gasoline and it is like explosive an extremely flammable liquid and gas. I can smell all time in here gasoline smell in here. And that's I need to work in outside. You can hear cars what comes from road because I need to keep my door open because this gasoline is extremely harmful gas to our head and brains. Okay, that's we need to work outside. Okay. This is good. Okay, and then, then we continue. Okay, and then here is my this rubber cover, and then I have opened one of these clamps, and it happens so that when we have this clamp in here, I take my tool and I only rotate that so long that this part opens in that way. And finally, when I have rotated, opened that enough, this, this thing opens like in that way. Okay, now it is still, okay now, now it's open. And then my idea is that when I insert that my cover, then I insert this my, my clamp in that way, and then I fasten that, and then my glue, that area, will be full of this Sika gasket glue. And okay, and next, next I will do so that I insert that my Sika, Sika seal gasket glue in this fuel tank, but before of that we need to go to clean carefully this fuel tank with this cotton cloth material. And let's go to do that next. Okay, and here is this my fuel tank hose. And there is all time leaking this gasoline. Now I clean that, and next I will add in that area full of this sikasil gasket. It's my next job. Okay, and here I have this sikasil gasket, and there is also my compress that I compress that, and remember. In that area we can install only 
gasket and glue what is gasoline or oil resistant. No any others. Because if we if we use in here normal silicone, then this gasoline wipes and uh, throws away this this uh, glue very fast. Because gasoline is excellent cleaner. Now I clean again this gasoline away and then I start to insert this my Sika gasket special glue in that area and this is red and I I will now this is this my glue and I will add that all areas in here because this is excellent and then I will add this my plastic cover in here next Okay, and now there is this Sikasil gasket glue it is all areas and then I insert this my uh, plastic and this rubber cover what is this pressurized hose and in that way I will install it in here it goes nicely nicely in that way okay now it looks good Excellent, it is in there. The next step is that that I insert my metallic clamps in here and they keep that in in right position. It's my next task. Okay, and soon we continue. Okay, and here we have this metallic clamps and next I will install these clamps in here and it happens so that I a little bit open that that in, in here and it, it comes in in that road it is in there good then I a little bit move that in here I, I a little bit move that then then I will fasten these parts in here this is first one and there is second Second one comes in here and there and, and now it is too good. And then I take my this my screwdriver and I fasten this clamps to get her that way. Excellent looks good it start to fasten and then when I have fastened these two clamps we continue then okay and now I have managed to insert these clamps this first one and the second and then I continue my fastening and, and, and these these clamps must be fastened so tight that they take contact to this metallic hose. It is the thing. And then, then, and then that one. And then this, my joint is tight. And I, I can guarantee that this, also this hose, and then this glue will work because both are this gasoline resistant. And finally it's good to do in here, here this joint that all areas are tight in that way. And this, this, and this is very gasoline sealant proof. And, and then when this job is ready we need to wait then 24 hours and after that we can uh, we can add first time this gasoline because this sika sika seal glue it takes like one day and or 24 hours time to dry and then it is resistant against gasoline and diesel okay and this was this information that how we can fix these uh, these holes in our well line and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.